So let's talk about metaphysics, quantum physics, and your physical body for a little bit. If you're watching this video, you probably can resonate that the life feels a little bit surreal to you, especially lately. And you feel like a lot of things you're doing, a lot of things you're trying to manage to have a breakthrough, they are not working. And you look at people who are less successful than you are in health, money, you know, relationship and people who are a lot more successful than you are. And you're like, what the heck? I'm putting so much effort and something is not clicking, is not working. Well, while you're watching this video, you're probably in my soul family group. And what we are is called architectures. So the thing, our main I'm getting a little bit into metaphysics right now and we get back to quantum physics and to your body health and symptoms. That's what I wanted to talk about, the physical symptoms in your body when you feel like aches, pains, when you don't feel yourself. So the thing is, um, we are here playing this game on this planet just because we need to learn to manage our feelings. And not even just feelings or emotions, but the mm, the kind of like the state we're in. Because the main idea for us to be here is to learn how to build worlds. You probably all know, and uh, if you're in this video, if you don't know it yet, you're going to do your research, watch some of my other videos or Google it, that we are going from third D reality to fourth D reality, and then to fifth D, which is dimensions, right? And how it happened is not just like we're jumping from one thing to another one. It all happens in our body, in our consciousness. And congratulations, you are here because you already won the game. It's all one big game when we come here on this planet. And the thing is, that you are here to manage your state. How do you feel every single moment or second? And that how do you feel that would help you as an architect to build the world? There are different levels of our consciousness. And if you're here, if you're listening to me, you're playing this game, you already won on the 12 levels. So there are many, many of of you higher self and you feeling like not easy something always going on in your life just because you woke up on this level as a being architect which is like pretty high level for you you know it is seems like it's really easy for other people to stay healthy to build beautiful houses businesses millions trillions um, and you're like, how does it happen for them? But the thing is, and I know it's going to sound surreal, but a lot of it is not even real people because everything that you do not see yourself with your own physical eyes, a lot of it, not necessarily the truth. And if you want to um, know how it works more, you can read the, um, you can go Google the, um, the book. Gosh, I forgot the author about um, quantum universe. Um, I'll, I'll find it and tell you a little bit later about it. Everything is basically a wave an energy. And what really is the only thing that is real in this world is today. So yesterday, and you basically like any person who doesn't want to go to metaphysics or, um, quantum physics can understand that Yesterday doesn't exist, tomorrow doesn't exist. And you probably heard it a million times that mm, the, the key how you get happiness is in this moment. And you might be like, well, I don't have enough money. I don't, um, I'm physically sick. Everything is just going not the way I want it. But the thing is, just because you, we can't manage this state today, where everything is not going our way, 
and we feel it every single second today in this moment. That's how we create future, because your very, very powerful soul, absolute God, that is basically came here, and the whole universe, the whole universe is you. So everything around you is you, especially the people right next to you, like your kids, your spouses, your, um, your friends, you are watching that. They are your players in this game. And only one game is today. And the key to health, money, and everything else is in your relationship. How do you manage your relationships, your feelings, your state today, this second? Because how you experience it this second is literally building your future. So you, as a higher self, as an architect, you have a ton, a ton of helpers out there. They're different civilizations. They're different. There are a lot of channelers who channel in civilizations, like talking to um, angels. But the key, the thing is, a lot of them getting their ideas. So it's kind of an illusion, and it's not. So every channeler, every soul getting the ideas from the level of consciousness they are and the thing is they cannot give you an answer because the whole universe is you and you are the god you're an observer we're all your players even me who is talking to you i am your creation so you're thinking like well i want to be this successful person and at the moment you think like this, you're actually creating them in your universe. It's like, imagine the beehives and each of us have this like little bee um, cell. And your cell is your whole universe, the whole planet, everything. You are the center of it. You are the God's eye in this game. And in this game, every time you wake up, this game starts. This is quantum physics, baby. There is no past and no future. You were never born <laughs> like you think you were born. You never had like this long childhood. All of these childhood memories, all of these childhood things that you think exist, they are just um, the downloaded memory of yours this is just the programs that you put yourself in your consciousness so you would play and again the moment of the play is just today and the thing is you can create any future you want because your higher self already know what kind of car you want, what kind of health you want, what kind of house you want, everything. If you just learn, if we just learn to shut up that mind of ours that is constantly talking, 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 and creating and saying, I must do something. I need to do something. I must go there. I need to. In every single moment when you do this, a lot of times you are chattering you're creating the future you don't want and you're betraying yourself imagine how many times a day you do what you don't want to do and imagine how it's just like one big pendulum or like seesaw today you don't want to work but you tell yourself i must go to work i must do this thing tomorrow it's a weekend you have nothing to do you can relax but you're like oh i can't be relaxed i need to do this i need to do that when you go to work you want to relax when you relax you want to go to work your husband you love him one day you hate him one day it's all like this and i want to tell you all of these thoughts that are in your head they are not you they are not created by your brain they're created by the game they're created by the game some call them spirits some call them, I used to call them, it's all connected. It's like one big picture. I call them like bacteria, parasites, um, yeast. In a physical, in this, we think it's physical. On a more dense quantum level, they are represented by the bacteria 
um, yeast, everything that lives in our body, they manipulate, <laughs> they manipulate our, um, our brain, they manipulate our hormones, they manipulate, chemically manipulate our body. Our brain depends on our body chemistry that get heavily altered by different creatures that live inside of us. There are many, many species of different, um, like your character is formed by bacteria that are present with you since your birth. But if we go on a deeper level, there is nobody to blame. Okay. There is just kind of like consciousness that is formed around you that giving you these thoughts. You can actually pick up the thoughts from other people, pick up the thoughts that are just like, like chatter chatter in here and you always have a choice to take this thought or to say oh, 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 hold on it doesn't belong to me and if you would learn one day to go just one day without thinking much and giving it a label oh this is good this is bad you would stop this pendulum you would stop going here and there you would if you just learn how to say hold on hold on hold on this is not me those are the games because let me tell you, you are higher self. You are the God's eye here on earth. You're not the player. Everybody who is more successful than you are, they are your players. You created them because you're an architect. As soon as you thought, oh, that would be cool mm, to do this somewhere on planet earth, there is a person who is doing that. Look around yourself, whatever you see, they are you, they are your reflection, they are your experience, and you forming your universe. You are here to learn emotions. You're not here to do anything else. As soon as you, you learn how to manage your emotions, feelings, your state, Everything's going to be yours. And it takes a little bit of time. It's like a baby. It's basically like an every wish, everything that here in this physical level we want to see, it takes about nine months. It's like uh, growing a baby. It's three, six, nine. This is the God's number. So three, six, nine is the holy number. Basically, it's your Holy Spirit. And the matrix, everything, the nature, which is your soul is a part of the nature and you're the Holy Spirit, the eye of God, looking at everything. How you conquer it is you understand that you are a nature and the world around you, it's one big thing. You are your body, your body is not you. Is you are as the Holy Spirit came here to play one day game and everybody else including your body, including people, including house animals, including this world. This is the material. And you, the Holy Spirit, you, the Ka, Merkaba, and Ba, you are unite and you create your world. It happens everywhere. It happens all the time. This is the quantum physics. This is the physical reality, which we think it's physical. And... Um, metaphysics unite together one thing how you succeed is a one day quantum leap when you start and i'm just on my way to do this and it's amazing what happens in your brain in your body when you understand you are not your body and you are but you learn how to love everything so much because only one power this animal strength this animal kind of like representation of you your reality understand is love and not the love that we experienced our children cute animals or even spouses or people uh, we love we think we love this is pretty much the type of love this is a different love this is a love of god when you understand shut everything that i see around me is my child this is my creation especially those around me, especially your husband or spouse, when you see them, you understand. They're just exact reflection of you. 
As soon as you think of them as weak, they're becoming weak. As soon as you think of them, they're strong, they're becoming strong. Remember? When you think about becoming someone, they are kind of like your player, right? Your, 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 if you're playing Mario, Mario game and there is like this character, Mario, running around there, this is your spouse. They're representing you in this game. So whatever you think about yourself, you're thinking about your spouse. You're playing this game, you see around yourself. And we're going to talk a lot more about this but what i wanted to tell you about the physical symptoms whenever in one present day and we're going to talk in my videos we're going to talk a lot more about it whenever you learn how to become an observer and saying oh whatever oh headache oh well i have this kind of problem this hurts i I'm not strong enough. Well, somebody told me, like the doctors told me I have endometriosis. I have this, I have that. As soon as you understand, they are not necessarily the symptom of something going wrong with your body. Because this is a beautiful time we're in right now. We're all waking up to understanding that we are God in our own universe. And the system, symptom that you're experiencing right now, because you're watching me, is the symptom of your consciousness waking up to 4D. And with that, there is going to be some bodily processes inside of the cell. Every cell has to change the way it's functioning, get rid of a lot of um, garbage, physical and not physical inside of it, on a metaphysical level, on a quantum level, and then upgrade. So I really want you to understand the physical symptoms you're experiencing right now, not as symptoms of sickness. You can't even die, my dear. If you have a little bit of interest in what I'm talking about, and this video interests you, you go and you woke up. It happened about two years ago. For some, well, it's there is no time or space. So it happens for whatever it happens for you. There is no time or space. Only one day we're playing here. So, <clears throat> the symptoms, they are symptoms of you transforming. Your cells are transforming. Your body is transforming. There is no sickness going to be happening for you anymore. Your body is not sick. You are not getting worse. You're getting better and better and better. And unfortunately, like a lot of uh, physical transition involves pretty harsh symptoms but they are not symptoms of something wrong with you. And please try to become an observer today and understand it's not um, you creating your reality. So whenever you think something is wrong with you, everything fall apart, your husband is a loser, you're creating a future. And literally your symptoms are the symptoms of you ascending, of your body changing, but if you think as an old habit, something wrong with you, you're falling apart, there is a diagnosis that waiting for you, this is what is going to stop your progress. This is where you're going to, and congratulations, even not going to make you sick, not even that's going to make you sick, but you're going to kind of like get stuck in one day loop. And I got stuck in it for so long. You're going to stuck in it because you're basically resisting yourself. So if today in this, anything you can get from this one day is to become an observer, you today, just whatever coming to you, husband starts screaming, you're like, oh, okay, interesting. I have a husband. I'm a god. I just woke up today and I have a husband. I have kids. Woo, and I created them. Hmm. What is it for? But don't think too hard, okay? You're just like, hmm, I have kids. Hmm, I have husband. How interesting. Remember that you live only one day and the state you're in, that's what is the most important thing. And this is your body and your rules. This is your universe and your rules. This is your planet and your rules. It doesn't mean that you might be, you need to become a millionaire overnight. That might happen too. You might win a lottery tomorrow. For God's sake, stop thinking about tomorrow. 
Think about today. And if you follow some of the videos, we're going to talk more about it. Little by little, a lot of things going to change. And if right now, right now when you're watching me, your main problem is your health, your main problem is your money, or your main problem is your relationship, whatever you think, sit down, think really hard. What is your biggest problem? And that biggest problem of yours, ding, ding, congratulations, you're going to win at this. So if you are sitting here completely broke, you're going to have millions. Well, maybe not millions because it's not going to be the 4D reality, but you definitely will need all the money you want for all your needs. There's going to be no suffering, I promise you. If it's health, you're going to get the body of your dreams. You won because if you're sitting here, it's the eye of a God. This game, you won it on the level 12. You united with your twin flame. You build your own world. You became, um, you know, you um, united with your higher self. You became an architect and then higher level because we're all God, you, all of us, we are you, and you are the God in your universe. You are that powerful. I promise you, it's all yours. And we're going to start this journey together. You're going to see how it works. So today, there is no symptoms. Or if there are symptoms, they are not symptoms of your body falling apart. For God's sakes, the whole planet is going to 4D reality, 4D consciousness. If you don't know about it yet, and it's your universe, it's your planet, Google it and find. 4D consciousness is this kind of like the bridge in between 3D and 5D. We all go into 5D. It's going to be different planet, different world. You programmed it. I am one of your cells, one of your talking cells that walk up in your body and say, hey, 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 I need to go to the master. I need to talk to her or him, and I will need to wake them up. We are here, baby. We are waiting for you. You can build us. You can ascend us. You can make us happy. What do you want to see in your reality and in your universe? One day quantum leap. Okay. Love you all. Bye-bye.